guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be ranking all of my blushes. I recently made a ranking my lip products video and you guys asked me to rank my blushes. Obviously, as you guys know, I film a lot of Sephora videos and with that, I have tried my fair share of blushes and I wanted to go ahead and rank them all for you guys so you guys can get my honest opinion on how I feel about these blushes to maybe inspire you guys on what blushes you actually wanna buy. Keep in mind, this is my opinion opinion, so what blushes work for me might not work for you guys and vice versa. I do not want to waste any time, so let's get into it. I, of course, am going to be starting off at the bottom and rating my least favorite blush, which brings us into the first blush, the Makeup by Mario, what even is this called? The Soft Pop Blush Stick. I do not like this. So many people love this product and for some reason, when I use this, it takes off all my makeup underneath. That is definitely a me thing because I have not seen anyone else have this issue. Oh, that's the wrong way. I have the shade Plumberry, which I kind of wish I got a different shade. I was kind of thinking it would be like a dark raspberry kind of shade, but it kind of shows up more purple. This shade would be better for darker skin tones and with me and how pale I am, this just doesn't really contrast that well with me. It blends out okay, but it kind of also blends into nothing. I've tried this out so many different times before with different makeup bases, different primers, and every single time this has just failed me. And I wish I actually ended up returning this, but I got lazy. Same with some other products over here, but this one is right at the very bottom. Next up are the Glossier Cloud Paints. These are actually okay. I found that recently when I started using them, they got really patchy. These are also expired, so that could have something to do with it. But even when I first used them, it was just kind of average. I do love the shades. I have the shade Eve, Puff, and Haze. I feel like they're definitely way more aesthetic than they are actually good. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. Also, this kind of disappears and it's very patchy. Same again with the Cloud Pain. This is very, very patchy. I don't really love the shade that I got, which is also my fault. But at the same time, I feel like this is such a basic product and for $40 for this, the quality really is not it for the price that it is. Another thing about the Charlotte Tilbury wands is that if I am paying $40, I expect there to be a lot more product in there. And with these, these are literally halfway full. And I get it, it has the fluid ounces and the measurements and stuff, but you can't even fill it up to the top if you're paying 40 bucks. I do love so many other Charlotte Tilbury products, but any of their blush wands, contour wands, highlight wands, I'm not even kidding. They are all so bad and so patchy, and this is exactly what this is. This is absolutely nothing special. Next, again, we have the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, which is kind of like a highlight blush. This, again, obviously from Charlotte Tilbury. I do prefer this one over the other one a lot more, but again, patchy very very patchy for no reason i do enjoy the look that this gives on the face but most of the time it kind of disappears after a couple hours and this has not lasted me at all there's really nothing special about these wands and there are so many other better products that you can get for way cheaper which also brings me to the elf halo glow beauty wand which is exactly the same thing as this one this is a dupe for this the only reason i put it higher is just because the price is cheaper i do find that this runs a little less patchy on me but at the same time i feel like this kind of disappears too i do prefer this but i never reach for this all right next up are the newer elf Camo Liquid Blushes, which are a dupe for the Rare Beauty one. For some reason, I do prefer the Rare Beauty one over these. I mean, they are pretty much exactly the same, but I find that these are almost more pigmented. I hate the applicator. I know it's a really weird thing to kind of judge, and I feel like these are way, way harder to blend out especially this shade right here. I find that this dries down very, very fast. So when I'm blending, it just kind of dries down and it gets really patchy, really splotchy, and it just doesn't really look good on me, which brings me to Rare Beauty. Same with the e.l.f. camo blushes. I just think they're too pigmented, but it's just kind of hard to work with because of how much pigment and saturation saturation there is in it. 
I don't know. This is another product, again, I don't really reach for. Occasionally, I will use this as like a blush mixer, so I'll mix in a highlight or something and it looks really, really pretty. There's just nothing really special about this to me. And next is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick. I have the shade Work. It is a very pretty kind of natural, subtle shade. I'm not exactly sure with this because I've not tried the other darker shades, but this to me is not pigmented at all. I find, again, when I blend this out, it kind of blends into nothing and I have to really, really layer the product on. It is really nice to kind of keep in your purse for something more natural, but for those makeup days where you want to put more on, this is just not meant for that. I can appreciate it for its actual use, which is like something lighter. I've not tried the other shades as well, so I don't know if the other shades are more pigmented, but this one is just really not. Next up is the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. I have the shade Candy Clouds. I was very, very underwhelmed with this, especially considering the amount of TikToks I've seen about people hyping this product up. This is not pigmented at all. This looks so, so pretty on. I really love the way it looks. It doesn't look patchy. It doesn't look splotchy. It looks very nice on the cheeks, but I actually have to dig in with my brush and just get pigment out of it. You'll literally catch me going like this, trying to get the pigment out of this. And then when I put it on my cheek, it's still so underwhelming. What I would say about this is that if I do run out of this product, I'm not gonna repurchase it. Same with everything that I've mentioned so far, I will not repurchase it. All right, next up are the Say Blushes. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why I have so many of these, I was in Sephora, I wanna say a little over a month ago, and they were doing this Say deal where if you buy more than three products, you get a bag. And the lady that worked there, she kind of like pressured me to buy it and me being the people pleaser that I am, I was like, yeah, sure. Even though originally I just didn't really care for these. So let me give you guys the story. Pretty much I started off getting the shade Spicy. I've had this for quite some time now and I just did not really like the shade on me. Again, I don't know what I was thinking, like, why on earth would I think that that would look good on me? I don't know. So for that reason, I didn't really use it. So I didn't really pay too much attention to the formula. But when I recently went to Sephora, she recommended me these shades. I have the shade Poppy and Sweetie. Yeah, I really love the shade Sweetie. It is almost exactly the same as the shade Happy from Rare Beauty. But I like this so much better. It is way easier to kind of control and build up the pigment. It's not crazy pigmented to the fact where you put it on and you can't really go back from that. Like you can build it up, but this is just another blush I don't really reach for. I don't actually have any problems with these to be honest. I just really don't reach for them. Next up, these two are gonna be the exact same rank. The REM Beauty Satin Matte Blush in the shade Skinny Dipped, and the House Labs blush in shade Hibiscus Haze. The reason why I put these exactly the same, because they are the exact same shade and the exact same formula. I, <laughs> I realized when I got this, I was like, this looks really familiar. And I brought out my House Labs blush and I'm like, wait, these are exactly the same thing. There's really nothing different about these whatsoever. If anything, I almost prefer the REM Beauty one because this is like 20 bucks and this is like 32. And considering the fact that they brought down the size and they only brought the price down by $4, that's actually so stupid. Like, come on guys, at least bring it down by like $10 or something. So if you guys really want the shade Hibiscus Haze, in the House Labs blush and you don't want to spend $32 on it, go ahead and get the REM Beauty one because it is exactly the same. And this is like 20 bucks, around 20 bucks. But these are honestly really good blushes too. I don't necessarily think I would repurchase any of these if I ran out, but they're really cool to have. I will use these. These are a blush that I use pretty regularly, but they both look really beautiful on the skin. So no issues with either of these really. Next up, we're getting towards my more favorite blushes. So the Rare Beauty Powder Blush in shade Hope. These are their more luminous ones and they're so pretty. I do wish that I got a more light shade because I feel like the shade is kind of not really me, but formula wise, this is stunning. I love the glow that it gives. 
I just think that this is a little too dark for me, but I can appreciate it for its formula. When I do use this, I go extremely light because these are so pigmented and it is very easy to go overboard with this. And if you do go overboard with it, it does not look good. So keep that in mind. Next up is the Merit Beauty Blush Balm or what is it called? Flush Balm. I love these so, so much. If I ran out of this, I will go and repurchase it. I'm actually wearing this today, but I'm wearing a light kind of coat of it. But this is amazing. It blends out so nicely and you can build this up very nicely too. It's not crazy obnoxiously pigmented, but it does have a good pigment on it. But to a point where you can also layer it and build it up. These are a product I do not see a lot of people talk about, which I have no idea why, because these are just so good. This is the shade A Price, I think. And this is the shade I wanted when I meant I wanted like a raspberry shade, like this. It's like pink. Also ignore my nail. <laughs> it like came off and I started picking at it. Anyways, okay. And then in comparison to the makeup by and in comparison to the Makeup by Mario blush, like I was looking for this, not this. That's kind of why I bought this at first because I thought it was gonna be something a little more pink, but no, it's actually just purple. But yeah, that is an absolutely amazing blush. I feel like that blush is great for beginners if you're kind of gradually getting into makeup more and cream blush, I highly recommend. Next up is the Milani Cheek Kiss blush. You guys, already know at this point this has lasted me so long like literally two years and before any of you guys say throw it away it's probably expired no <laughs> i've been using <laughs> i know this sounds bad but like there are so many products that i have and most likely you guys have that are expired and you just don't know but it still looks good unless you start having like an allergic reaction then that's bad, but I personally have not. So fingers crossed, I can kind of stick to that. I'm not trying to influence you guys to use expired products. Like obviously use it at your own risk, but from my experience, every time I've used something expired, it works, it's fine. I'm not really talking about skincare necessarily, but more so makeup and stuff like that. But this is fine, it still works, it's a great blush. Super pigmented too, really easy to build up and very easy to kind of keep it sheer as well. But yeah, this is literally amazing. I have the shade Merlot Moment, and it's kind of almost the same shade as the Merit blush that I have. It is broken, it's kind of been through it, but I will still reach for this. This is so amazing. So in my top three is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush. This is in the shade Rose Crush. It is a less pinker version of the other two shades that I've showed you guys, but this is great for a natural makeup day. I am obsessed with this blush. If I ran out of this, I will go straight away to repurchase this. And it's crazy because I literally just tried this a week ago and I fell in love with it. It builds up again so, so easily and it melts into your skin and it just looks flawless. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this and I totally see this becoming more and more of a daily blush for me just because the shade is absolutely perfect. So my two favorite blushes, one of them is a powder formula the other one is a cream formula, but Patrick Ta. I love these so, so much. They are so convenient. I prefer the cream formula way more than the powder formula, but I have the shade Just Enough and I have the shade She Is Baked. I wasn't too much of a fan of this shade from the beginning, but I started mixing it with lighter shades and it started looking so, so pretty. These are absolutely perfect. I think these are $40, which is such a good price. Well. It's not a good price, but comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury, so much better. These are so much better. And you also get a really good amount of product with it too. And you get the powder formula and the cream formula. Again, same with my other favorite blushes. It blends in like butter. It melts into the skin. It looks so beautiful on. Like I will continue to repurchase these for so, so long. And finally, my favorite blush. I think you guys are gonna be a little shocked. I don't know but the NARS blush. This is in the shade Orgasm X and it is so, so pretty. 
I love the kind of luminosity it gives. It's nothing too crazy like the Rare Beauty blushes, but this is something a little more subtle. But this is crazy pigmented too, but I find that this does not look patchy on me. It just blends in so nicely too. And this is the little compact size. I've had this for so long now and it doesn't even really look like I've made a dent in it, but trust me, I have. This blush is just so, so good. And I feel like it's kind of an unpopular opinion having this be my favorite blush but they're new blushes that have came out recently i want to try those so bad so if i do end up trying them i will let you guys know my opinion this is just the perfect coral shade and like i said it gives a little bit of luminosity and it's just it's just perfect it's so cute too but yeah you guys that pretty much summarizes up my entire blush collection and all of them ranked. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite blush is because I would love to know and if it's something I've not tried yet, I might try it out because I'm always looking for new blushes. Blushes and lip products are the products that I get the most, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and let me know your opinion on these products below if you want to because I would love to see how some of these products have worked for you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video right here. I unfortunately have to put all of these back which is gonna suck same with the lip products I realized how much I had brought out and putting them back it's not fun so I have to do the same thing for the blushes now but I love you all so so much I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you guys all in my next video bye